Hi guys, straight in this week and uh, this video is going to be a bit different to the usual boat building videos. Um, two reasons for that. One, it's darn hot. Um, too hot really to do anything on the deck. You might imagine just up under that lovely metal roof that we've got in this boat shed. It is, when, when it's hot outside, it's unbelievably hot just working under that metal roof. Um, so we've been trying to do a bit indoors. Perhaps you could just scan around and, and show the paint there, Kerry. A bit of paint and varnish has got on. Good. Where it's a little bit cooler in here, not too bad. But the other big reason, and it's some, there's something I've been talking about in the last couple of videos, something I've wanted to do for quite a while, is to answer the most, the, the question that I get asked the most. The question that I get asked the most is, is variations on what does it cost to build a boat of this ilk? So I shall try to answer that question. Um, I do my best to answer that question to your satisfaction. It's perhaps harder than you might imagine to answer, but I'll, I'll, I'll come to an answer. I'll get there. I'll give you an answer. Um, one thing I should say, first of all, is I recorded the build with videos, but what I haven't done, I'm, I'm really not an enthusiastic bookkeeper and I haven't kept records of what I've spent. So this is from memory um, and a few approximations, but I'll try to be as accurate as I can. But I, as I say, I have not got records of this, so it's me remembering. The other thing that needs to be said is that um, I have collected over the years a reasonable collection of boat parts, which if you haven't got that, you know, it's going to be extra expense for your boat build. For example, all of these ports, the seven bronze ports, I had, I'd collected. Um, and if you look at the price of new bronze ports of this sort of dimension, you're looking at in the region of 300, 350 euro each. So I've got seven of them. I've put six in the boat so far. I'll probably put the seventh in, so you know. There we go, there's, there's two and a half grand of bronze ports that I haven't had to spend money on, I had them. Um, and there's a few bits. I've got a, a stove, various bits that I had already. Stanchions I've got, um, you know, quite a few bits that I won't be spending money on. So, so if, you're, if you haven't got such a collection, you've got those costs additionally on top of what um, I will be spending. So let's get to it. The first thing of course, is, you know, is perhaps obvious, but the first thing you need is you need somewhere to build. And um, if you're renting that, there's extra costs. I'm not, we're building at home. Um, we bought this, we live in the, the north of Germany in a village where property tends to be fairly cheap and, and roomy. Um, we bought this place some 22 years ago in derelict, spent 15 years fixing it up. Uh, all do it yourself, hard labour of concrete and wheelbarrows and bashing out walls and all that carry on. So um, in the end, we've got as far as fixing up the outbuildings, the two workshops you see in these videos have both, both been renovated by me, concreted floors by me, the whole thing. But the end result of that work is that we have this shed and the workshop next door to build this boat in and it doesn't cost us anything above what we pay on the mortgage, you know. <clears throat> so that's no costs I have. If you're building, if you're having to rent a location to build, you've got that cost on top. That's not going to be in this calculation. But let's get on to um, what it costs. Oh, perhaps I should say just before we get to that one, the other thing you've got to think about is tools. As I just said, I spent a long time renovating this place. I had a good collection of tools, uh, you know, the sort of tools that you've seen that are ordinary, everyday person's tools, nothing high tech. But I've got a good collection of, of hand tools and ordinary, regular tools. So I really haven't had to spend much on tools either. I bought one or two bits for the build, but, but not much. But again, that's something else. That if, you, if you've not got a great tool collection, you're gonna be spending money on tools as well. Um, I hope that these videos have shown you that it is possible to build something like this with fairly ordinary tools, that you, you don't feel the need to go out, rush out and spend loads of money on the most high-tech pieces of equipment, equipment going. But, but that's your choice, I guess. But for me, I haven't spent much on tools. But the very last thing to say before we get to the numbers, of course, we will get there, 
is that um, these numbers I'm about to show you are for, for this boat. It's a 32 foot, basically, J. Benford designed sailing dory, constructed out of plywood, uh, plywood planking on Douglas fir frames. So, um, and that's all sealed in epoxy, uh, sheathed in fiberglass and epoxy. So these figures are for that boat. Let's have a look. So we've got our black background up, we've got item and price there to be seen and we'll fill in a few n items and a few numbers into this. Um, plywood boat, so the first thing that springs to mind is some plywood. And uh, I built her out of, mainly out of 10 millimeter WBP exterior ply. The bottom has three layers of, of 10 millimeter ply laminated together, the sides, the deck, the cabin, or two layers of um, 10 millimeter ply layered together, laminated together. Bulkheads are mainly 12 millimeter ply, single layer, except where they're exterior bulkheads, where they're double layered. Um, I've got a few sheets. I bought I bought about 80 sheets of 10 mil and a dozen sheets of 12 mil, and I've got a few sheets left over. So I think I've got enough plywood to complete the build. And I estimate that lot cost me in the region of 1,800 euro. Built in plywood, but framed in Douglas fir. Um, and I have to say, I had a bit of Douglas fir in stock, which I've tried to allow for in this number. But the Douglas fir, and I've also included here the black locust that I bought for the for the trim exterior. I've calculated to be in the region of 500 euro um, I think that's about right and after that of course the whole thing is is um, sealed in epoxy and covered in glass cloth fiberglass cloth in epoxy I've bought the epoxy in not the cheapest way I bought it in um, gallon containers basically or a gallon of resin with with uh, half a gallon of hardener roughly speaking it would be much cheaper if you bought the epoxy in a barrel in a larger quantity but that does involve having somewhere to set up your barrel and, and I found the convenience of the, of the gallon jugs yeah, outweighed it so I've bought gallon jugs um, and I've estimated I've used in the region of 12 of those at uh, close to 100 euro a piece um, for the two pack, that is the two components. So 1200 euro I've put up there for epoxy. Glass cloth, uh, I used a light cloth on the inside and the, the heavier six ounce cloth on the outside. I've put 500 euro up there for glass cloth, which I reckon to be in the right region. So the ply layers and any other bare wood on wood, I'd normally speaking, I've glued together with the Colano Semperoc glue. And I reckon I've spent about 250 euro on Semperoc. And uh, of course that was all, or the ply layers at least, were fixed together using their silicon bronze um, grip fast ring nails. And uh, I've allowed 250 euro for those. Um, various other fasteners that I use, so I use some, some bronze screws, I used uh, some threaded bronze uh, rod through the knee, uh, a couple of stainless bolts here and there, and, and a few stainless screws, not very many, but I've allowed another 250 there. So a total of 500 euro on fasteners, I feel is about right. Moving on, um, I bought various pieces of paint, bilge paint and some epoxy primer and uh, some paint undercoat. I've allowed 200 euro for paint. Um, and various pieces of metal, some bits of stainless to make the bow roller fitting up, um, a couple of bits of iron or steel it was for the engine mounting plates, a few bits of metal, 100 euro on raw metal. I put two water tanks in the front of the boat, um, which come to roughly speaking 400 euro. Um, and then moving on, I've got the little day tank for diesel, uh, which cost me in the region of 50 bucks. Um, I did put those two ports looking forwards in. I've put in 250 euro for ports, the two stainless ports, non-opening. And there's the, the deck hatch that's uh, in the raised deck there, which cost about 300 euro. 
Then I bought some electrical equipment, um, battery box, the mains fuse for the shore power. That was a fairly expensive piece of kit. Um, some wire, some terminals, a few bits and pieces. I've estimated that to come to 250 so far. Obviously there will be more expenses on electrical equipment to come, significantly more. But that's what we spent so far. A bigger item, one of the biggest items inside, was the uh, composting toilet that uh, you may remember I bought a very nice one, a bit extravagant perhaps, uh, that cost 800 euros. Um, and then the other major thing, of course, is the engine that I bought second hand, Volvo Penta uh, MD2010, uh, the D series one, the best of them, I believe. With sale drive, uh, second hand cost me 3,500 euros. And now we're getting near the end. So, to draw this to a close, I'm sure there are various bits and pieces that I've forgotten. So I've just added 500 euro on the top of this for, for sundries. And that brings us all to a grand total of 11,100 euros, which is what I reckon it's cost me to get this far with the build and, and if we're honest the build is probably about halfway finished and I can well imagine that's about half the expense. Um, I've long imagined or thought that I was looking at in the region of 20,000 euros to build this boat. Okay well that's how it looks guys. Um, the, the figures as to the best of my ability for this boat. Um, no doubt some of you are going oh it's rather a lot and perhaps others going oh, not so bad rather subjective thing I feel but there you go numbers for this boat um, thanks for watching if you like this sort of thing you like what we do you could consider perhaps supporting us on on patreon as little as one dollar a month will get you um, access to some you know, special features also give you uh, the chance to request any extra information video information you'd like to have so patreon from one dollar a month uh, thanks for watching Give us your thumbs up, leave a comment if you like, or if you're new here, perhaps subscribe. Good, thanks, bye.